Welcome to Conversations with Verdell Jones. I'm your host, Verdell Jones, and being an educator at heart, I'm dedicated to sharing conversations that inform and enlighten in the hopes that you learn something you may not have known and remember. So we got a lot going on. We're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, we are going to welcome our first guest to Conversations with Verdell Jones. So now we have our, our next guest coming up. All right, we are ready to go. <laughs> so again, we have Jasmine Turner. She is the founder and the owner of Black Match Made. We are so excited. Hey, Jasmine, how are you? Hey, guys. I'm well. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. Thank you so much for being a guest on Conversations with Verdell Jones. You're welcome. Thanks for having me, Verdell. I was really looking forward to coming on the show this week. It's February, which is the month of love. It so is. I am excited to talk about love tonight. Uh, oh, awesome. And and I think your 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 handle is is Jazz Loves Love. Yeah, Jazz Loves Love on Instagram as well as Facebook. All right. So I mean you have a passion for love and yeah. and helping people find love. So I am so excited to talk about that. Um, we, I've been married for 30 years and I've been with my husband for 35 years. We were over 35 years. We were high school sweethearts. So, oh, wow. yeah. <laughs> so congratulations. I, that, that doesn't happen too often anymore. So congratulations on that. Thank you. Thank you. So I really haven't been in the dating scene at all because we met in high school. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, but I know, and I have a lot of friends and a lot of, um, you know, women that I know struggle with finding. And, and I have, you know, not even friends, I have, you know, younger people that I know are struggling, I'm not gonna mention any names, that are struggling to find someone. So, yeah, yeah so tell us, tell us why, why you have this love for love and helping people find the uh, man or woman of their dreams. Okay, so um, as I was saying, lots have changed about dating in the last 30 years. Mm -hmm. People just don't meet how they used to meet anymore. In fact, um, online dating has become one of the most common places for people to meet their spouse. Mm -hmm. So tons have changed, and a lot of people are trying to figure out how to navigate this new dating world, and that's where I come in as a matchmaker and dating coach. You know, I started my company because I'm first passionate about the community, and I believe that mm. family is the foundation of yes. any society and any community. Absolutely. However, I was seeing all of these amazing single people around me that were having such a hard time finding people they're compatible with. Mm-hmm. So I worked in the recruiting industry prior to becoming a matchmaker, and I thought, why not just use my and experience parlay. as a recruiter for corporations and schools to actually recruit for someone who's looking for love? Right. That's- I tried it out. I started out with events and then from there went straight to matchmaking and it has been a crazy <laughs> ride ever since. <laughs> That is that is so awesome. You know, um, I used to watch this show. I mean, it was on years ago, maybe like on Bravo, and there was a matchmaker on there. I don't remember her name. Patty. Pa- yes. Patty yeah. from Millionaire Matchmaker. Right, exactly. And she, it was fascinating what she actually did and the types of people that she kind of connected with, yeah. uh, connect, you know, connected together. So w- with what you do, um, I'm interested to know, you, you work with black professionals and how, why is it so difficult for black professionals specifically to find a mate or a committed relationship? Yeah, so I specialize with African-American single professionals, um, but I work with people of all races. Okay. And so, sometimes I have clients that might be looking to meet someone that's black that may not okay. be black, or it could be a black person mm-hmm. that's interested in dating all races, not just African-American. Oh, okay, so okay. I think the biggest challenge for dating in our community is you know, the unfortunate reality that two thirds of black people weren't raised in two parent households, right? Mm. So the vast majority of us are learning about dating as we go along versus seeing what a healthy loving relationship looks like in front of us. Mm -hmm. And so as a result of that, 
we then, you know, don't really know how to create something that you've never seen. Right. And that's where matchmaking comes in because a lot of people don't even know how to identify who they're compatible with, right? Huh. You see a lot of people that are dating based on chemistry alone, and let's be honest, chemistry feels good. Right. But chemistry doesn't mean compatibility. Absolutely. Chemistry doesn't mean long term, and that's how you have people that can be crazy in love for five <laughs> years and absolutely hate each other the next year. Right. <laughs> so, Right. I help people understand <laughs> how to match with someone they're compatible with and how to identify um, those areas of compatibility. Right. I love that you said that. It's, it is the compatibility, you know, because I have conversations <laughs> with, uh, like I said, I'm not going to mention any names, but I have conversations <laughs> About, about the thing you just mentioned, because sometimes there is that chemistry there and you like a person and you think that you might have things in common, but you like the same things, but the, it's the chemistry. We were talking to our financial, um, Najee, uh, a financial advisor, and him and his wife were on the same page with finances. So yeah. how, do you, how do you, like what is your process when you, when you wanna match two people up? What is the process? Do they have to go through a screening? Is there a questionnaire? Like what, what are the things that you look for There's to definitely match? a screening. Okay. I work with my clients. I start off working with my clients. I do have some people that help me with the recruiting process, okay. but it, it's a boutique matchmaking service where every client is working with me in some way. Right. Um, so before we even move forward, I'm making sure that we're even on the same page because here's the reality. Mm. I'm not going to be the best matchmaker for everyone, even okay. if you're a black person. Right. Um, we got to make sure that our personalities connect and that we're on the same page in regards to who I'm going to introduce you to. Mm. Um, so when it comes down to compatibility, we use what science has found. Science has found that two people who share the same moral values, mm -hmm. life goals, and that there's some level of physical attraction, yeah. they're more likely to last in a long-term relationship than two people who don't have those areas in common. So speaking of the person you were just mentioning, where um, the partner, they're not, they don't share the same values when it comes down to finances. Mm -hmm. For some couples, that could mean like they're not compatible and it might bring some really difficult times yes. in their relationship that they can't get, get over. Right. So you want to make sure you're asking those questions up front, up front. if finances are important to you. Mm -hmm. Other areas like religion, politics, uh, gender roles, all of those areas, depending on the person, could be really important. So you want to have someone that either Got shares it. those same values or is at least open to your approach. You mm -hmm. definitely have to come back. But in the meantime, I want people to know where they can reach you. We have some information that we'll put up so they can contact you if they're looking for love and not only looking for love, but looking to keep love as well. So we'll show. Absolutely. Uh, we'll Absolutely. Show. Well, you can, I actually have a free video, a training video for women who are looking to just revamp their approach uh, to dating and get better results. And you can find that video at five steps to MrWright.com. Uh, okay. That's the number five steps to MrWright.com. Okay, great. Well, again, thank you so much for being guests on Conversations with Verdell Jones. Mm -hmm.